All right, so let's go straight into the drafts. We have the first ban by Playing With Pain is Stitches, and the first ban by Mouse Boards, or the only ban by Mouse Boards, is Tassila. Yeah, on the other hand, uh, pick for Playing With Pain uh, is obviously Tychus. Um, seems like they want to go maybe Rega combo. Uh, I'm very looking forward to seeing some Bloodlust today. And on the other hand, by most boards, we have Arthas and Uther being picked up here. So, yeah, very, very solid picks so far. Yeah, really trusty, trusty picks. I mean, uh, this Uther, Arthas, um, really dependable. Um, as far as Tychus go, you can always rely on him uh, to dish out, dish out some uh, solid damage and give you some good zoning control with the grenades. Oh, next pick up Reyna. That's a little bit surprising here. Um, going for these assassins, uh, two assassins right away. Kind yeah. of kind of weird. I see what they want to go for, actually. Okay. I, I'm so sure that they're going to pick uh, Rega right now. Okay. Um, because you... It just has to be Rainer uh, and Tigers to go for Bloodlust if you don't have um, the Archon from the Tassadar since Mossbots banned it. Okay, I'm gonna lose my money. <laughs> At least I didn't bet something. But uh, I was so sure Rainer um, and Tigers indicate a Rega. Maybe it's wow. gonna come later. Triple Assassin? Ooh, this is gonna be all or nothing for playing with pain. Especially so far, uh, with Arthas and Ufer already in there with the stuns. You think get those some uh, quick stuns out on Illidan? Um, I don't know if they can actually hold on here. Um, I mean, Raynor is not as squishy as, as the rest of the team, but I don't know, Tychus, Illidan, um, not taking too much damage for those two. Yeah, at least in the early game they are going to have a hard time, I think. Um, they will have to stay on lane very defensively and mouse bots maybe uh, can benefit from it by just going uh, for a ganking squad. Uh, by the way, the map bans were um, Cursed, uh, Cursed Hollow and Mines. Um, the first map, Garden Terror, was chosen by Mouse and Game 2 is going to be played on Blackheart's Bay, chosen by Playing With Pain. Nova, next pickup for Mouse. So we have Assassin, Warrior, and support for them. Yeah, Nova is uh, quite of a good pick against um, the lineup so far from Playing With Pain is Pain, um, because they are somewhat squishy with Illidan and Draenor, because Raynor can be bursted very easily by Nova, especially in the late game. Yeah, I don't know. Would uh, would two supports be a solid counter pick to this, or at least a viable option? Because I, I was thinking, okay, why why are they actually going for for the assassins now? They know that playing with pain is not gonna go for any more assassins. At least that that'd be just crazy. <laughs> um, instead, they are opting to go uh, for Nova now. Tyrael, um, good pickup, of course. But they could have uh, just saved Nova for last. They could have, but I think it doesn't make too much of a difference if they don't want to go for Rega themselves. Ah, I was right, they're gonna go Rega. <laughs> yes. Shen and Rega, okay. Okay, yeah, they definitely need some. Oh, they're going so much damage. I think they have to go. Uh, I think they still can go Ancestral Healing, but Bloodlust can be viable as well because they have so much damage. And I'm pretty sure that um, Chen at least has the possibility to go for Storm, Earth, and Fire. Okay. I mean, that's that's the usual heroic we see out of Chen. But I, I do like uh, the, the barrel roll. Um, as far as the zoning is concerned, a really strong option. And especially with the remainder of these pickups, with all these assassins, if he can... Um, get well if they can uh, single out a hero, they can just eliminate him so quickly. And with with Chen, you do have that option. Yeah. Okay, so last pickup by Mouse probably uh, 
going to be an assassin, but not too many left. Maybe Valor false. or Kerrigan? False that? False that. I think false it's that, yeah. false that. Yeah, probably. Because, yeah, with the Tyrell false set combo, okay. Abathur. Again. Abathur. Okay. That works. Well, how does it work? I'm not quite sure, actually, because um, who is he going to play? Uh, he's, who is he going to clone uh, mm. when he reaches level 10? Well, they they could go for double Nova and then uh, focus out Illidan. Or they could go for the double Divine Storm, but I don't think they have enough um, follow-up DPS to actually take anyone out. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Alright, the match is going to start here pretty soon. Everyone's ready. I think we can just... Um, yep. We can just load into the game. Okay. There we go. Getting straight started on Garden Terra. And as far as mobility is concerned, a little bit of an edge to mouse uh, with Abathur and... and Oh wait, never mind, they didn't go for, for Feldstead. I still had that in my mind <laughs> since you were so, uh, going so strongly towards that. Um, but uh, nevertheless, I mean, uh, Abathur uh, has that ability to um, just solo push the lanes and yeah, they do have the the way to well, um, kind of dynamically react to whatever playing with pain is throwing at them. And here they are on the left side as the blue team spawned on Garden of Terror. We have playing with pain, and they have Rhaegar and Illidan alongside Raynor, Chen, and Tychus in the middle. The on the other side of the map, as the red team mouse boards with Karayan as the Ufer, Abathur in the middle, Nova, Arthas, and in the bottom we have Tyrael. Yeah, so um, some early aggression probably coming in here from mouse boards. They are already Ooh. hiding in the bush. Ali is playing. Um, so Ali is, is usually their replacement player. I'm not sure why he's playing tonight. Oh, Illidan might be in trouble. They're waiting for him. Did they spot him though? I don't think they've seen him. Kidda's going for it. Do we have that option to sandwich him with Fabio being there? But yep. <laughs> he sees Rainer. He sees him. But I don't think they've scouted out Illidan. I'm not too sure if they've seen him uh, go in that bush. Yeah. And deciding to turn around and maybe go for the Tiger's kill here. Yeah, Abathur already pushed that lane very hard. <laughs> Even though there's no hero, just with Abathur you can push so hard, it's incredible. And oh, very sneaky play coming yeah, in. Yeah, seeing that easy camp steal. And yeah, they got that mine up just to see, okay, do we have anyone here? Nope, we're good. Okay, let's go for it. And uh, they're gonna s go straight for the easy camp steal. Um, really nice early pickup for them. But same thing's going on <laughs> for playing with pain. Wow. Just countering each other's strategies here. Okay, um, so Abathur was able to kill this uh, mercenary very fast, the Siege Giant. So very well defended there. On the other hand, the uh, Seeds have spawned now and PPP already got the first smaller camps in. Yeah, Nova's gonna pick up a couple of seats here uh, on top. Ufer still in lane, um, and Abathur uh, still pushing in middle. I think they gotta go out and grab those seats now, otherwise they're gonna fall behind. Arthas is gonna join Nova here on top. Shen is the only one that's here in the top lane, so I think they should be fine, but oh no, Rhaegar moves in. Nova is in a lot of trouble here. Illidan jumps on top of him, and wow, they just dish out so much damage. She goes down in no time. I think even if Utha would have been on time, she would have uh, got killed. Yeah, Got and so Arf is in a lot of trouble now as well. There comes the Aberfer, giving him that extra shielding, and he can stay alive. But wow, did she take that much damage? Illidan just nuts, going nuts on her. Already a good seed advantage here for PPP, and they're gonna have some more after this camp. But maybe Nova's gonna do something against that. 
Doesn't look like it. Not enough damage here. Obviously, one v four, not that easy. Yeah, they're gonna pick up their own their own boss here down here. Um, might get a couple of uh, seeds out of this, but they're still behind in, in the seeds game. Uh, they lost lost out uh, so much, and they have to retreat now uh, that Rainer and Luvio are coming in. Oh, Tyke is joining them as well now, but the boss is being finished. Oh, now, yeah, they're gonna get all of the seeds and very nice with them, but they have to get away. Yeah, pretty nice disengage here from Mouseboards. Yeah, they um, they, they were kept alive here for a long time. Ali uh, doing a good job there, uh, catching, tanking some of that damage. Now here comes the engagement. Uh, Pain coming in, taking uh, taking out these uh, gates, and well, yeah, he's doing a good job. Here comes the freeze. Very very solid push here from PPP um, with the Garden Terror. So easy. And they are already half a level ahead. On the other end, Uther tries to defend as well, but he'll be a little bit late. It looks so easy now for PPP, but they have to move back a little bit. Yeah, good disengagement timing for PPP. Uh, they're gonna take, uh, try to uh, put in a little bit more pressure here in the middle. And I like the way they do this. I mean, they didn't take out the fort, but they took out the fortification. They took out the gates, and this allows for some really nice uh, team engagements now in the mid game. Maybe even if they're level 10, and um, just a solid way to open up uh, with the Garden Terror here. They're getting ahead in levels uh, more and more. But uh, pain almost going down here. Tyrius already in position. Will we see the initiate? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Ufer really chasing for a long time there. They could have actually turned around. Uh, they're level ahead. Uh, no fortifications left here. Oh, the gate is actually still standing. And Abatha may be in trouble after the creep of this hard time here. Shen already like uh, saw him, I think, and thought about going in there. But they want to sandwich everyone, but oh Nova completely out of position there on the right side. Ali also taking a lot of damage here, but Nova picked up here on the right side. She gets away. Ali, wow, he's so incredibly low. Even Abathur can help him. Fabio, uh, maybe, no, not gonna, not gonna engage now that Arthas is down. Yeah, and PPP now getting two of the opposing mercenary camps. That really hurts a lot because. Um, Actually, Mousebots has to be more defensive now, and they can't really go for the um, creep camps off PPP. And so they just have to defend now. Don't have too many options. And PPP, yeah, with yeah. the easy mercs, I think they're gonna push out this middle fort. Uh, they have everyone here. No, Chen is still on top. But um, it's uh, it's 5v5. Well, Arthur's not really all that much uh, participating in this fight. Fabio is, uh, he's on Fabio, but um, Fabio's not diving in yet. Since they do have those marks and they, they want to get those mercs down. I think PPP is going to go for the rest of the mercenary camps now. Um, I thought about maybe it's better that uh, they just engage when they are level 10 now and force a fight, but it seems like most bots is too smart. They won't just let a fight happen. They will be as defensive as possible. Yeah, we see PPP, they're gearing up, they're all moving together. Oh, Karayan completely out of position. Maybe he gets out of there. He's close to the fort, but some solid body blocking, and he's been taken out. And uh, now it's Mouseboard's uh, time to move in, but too late with the Uther already gone. And the fort is taking so much damage, it's gonna be taken out in no time. Uh, Easy Camp defending here, but not doing all that much against PPP. And they're again almost two levels ahead now. Yeah, but even with level 10, Mouseports wasn't able to really get a good engage. And that's mainly just because they were um, just four people. And with losing this fort, it's gonna battle, get a little bit more difficult in the future. Um, but I think they won't have too much problems if they get a Garden Terror right now and get a good engage. Yeah, we're gonna see Garden Terror out of both of these teams. But, oh wow, PvP is coming in. Mouseboard's still engaging the Garden Terror here. They might be in trouble. Ufer's, Ufer moves top, and there comes the Divine Storm, but no one is there to capitalize on it. And now they just move in on top of everyone. Arthas is being taken out, and yeah, Tyrael also uh, taking some damage. Can he get away? Yeah, with the help of Aberfer, he can. Yeah, and we actually saw Bloodlust right there. 
didn't help too much because they had so much damage anyways, but um, yeah, I'm kind of happy to see Bloodlust right here. On the other hand, uh, on the top lane we have the promote already going on, so Abatha is trying to push uh, harder and harder. Yeah, it's actually quite a different way to play this. I mean, the EU meta is all about sustain, keeping keeping everyone alive, and they're just dishing out that burst damage like there's no tomorrow. Um, and with with Bloodlust on top of everything, that's just the icing on the cake there. And now we have the two Garden Terrors battling it out in the middle lane here. Uh, everyone else out of mouse ports is coming in. Everfil uh, still pushing that top lane pretty well. I think um, Fort in the top lane should go down uh, soon. And Ali, they're, they're still moving back. They do want to keep that fort alive, if at all possible. I mean, they're already two levels down. Uh, they do want to keep that fort. Oh, nice enchant here on Vipolino. Oh, and Ali, oh, he's trapped. He's trapped down there. Oh, oh nice. really good storm out of Karayan. Oh, and Bakery almost falling down, but oh, not enough damage being laid down here by Fabio. But he's gonna do a lot of damage with the explode. Oh no, he shields his allies. Oh, oh Arthur's so and Tyrael stuff. both down. They need to disengage right now. They need to, need to let that fort die. And not <laughs> not everyone should go down here, but Karayan falls as well. Could wow. Be even chasing right there onto the Nova, but uh, obviously not enough damage. He has to go out of there once more. And not really the fight that uh, Mossbots was going to take here, or should have taken. Um, Arthas and Tyrael, with, with both of these heroes down, everything just snowballs out of control. Yeah. Now PvP is going to be able once more to get uh, the creep camps off uh, Mossbots. And Abathur quickly... Getting steal again. Through. And they're probably going to steal the easy camp as well. Um, we have clairvoyance used and they know what's up, but not everyone's in position to actually do anything about this. Uh, Nova's gonna be here on top, trying to stop this hard camp. Um, Uther should help her out there, otherwise they might be in trouble. But yeah, Mouseboard's just playing really defensively right now, there's no other way, they need to stay alive. And whoa, Uther completely out of position, there comes the Divine Storm, but he's being singled out. And the top four taking massive amounts of damage. With the Knight help here, I think they're gonna just clear it out. Yeah, very well, very well pushed here by PPP. Uh, Karayan being uh, out of position for the second time, I think he should stick a little bit more together with his team. Yeah, gotta agree. I mean, uh, he went out of position at least one more time, but I think even twice. Um, this time they really capitalized on it. Uh, maybe they should have sent a couple more guys up there to defend that fort. Yeah, because now they're already three forts down. That's a uh, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid advantage uh, for the end of pain. Oh, and right. ooh, Karayan has dropped. I hope it's just a spike, but here's the engage on pain. Oh, he almost got killed, but uh, very oh. nice survive here. And he's getting so much damage in. Odin oh. oh, takes him down. And Uther, oh, he doesn't get away. Very, yeah, very too close. bad they have the bot right there. Oh, they might get Vipolino though. He's taking a lot of damage, but no, Pops is heroic. He's gonna stay alive. And they they even get Ki No, Kidda surviving there in the last second. But they're pushing out so much damage on that Nexus, already down to 50%, 40%. They might get the kill here. No, nope, Vipolino will fall. And even Luffy taking a lot of damage. They really want to get that kill on the Nexus, but this might actually be the time to turn this around for Mouse Sports. Fabio is the only one to go in there, but Kitty Kadash putting out some fire to uh, to help him out here. Yeah, um, Alpha obviously helps a lot in those positions, but I think they're gonna lose this game anyways. Ninety percent, nineteen percent on the core is really not that much, and I think the next time uh, the Garden Terror pops for Team PPP, they'll be just able to right-click the core and win the game. Yeah, the problem is if Mouseboards would have a couple more forts down, um, they could go for some counter push, but I mean, they're already down to two forts. Um, they don't have anything uh, to stop these catapults, so they always have to go back. Oh, geez, the, the Uther bot is going for that uh, Garden Terror. Uh, Kidda is helping him out now, but uh, this is actually really dangerous. Fabio and Ali uh, battling it out down here, but wow, I mean. Really, the worst timing uh, for Karayan to drop in that game. 
Yeah, they were already behind and maybe with some good plays they would have been able here to defend it because it was, it was really close this fight. So very, very unfortunate, but it... Uh, are they gonna be oh, able to... Oh, they're gonna go for the back door. They're gonna go for the back door. There's no way around this. Illidan's moving in. He's taking out... Oh, he's putting on so much pressure. Abathur shielding, uh, shielding the Nexus, but wow. Just two more hits and there it goes down. 1-0 for playing with pain. And <laughs> below 13 minutes this game, uh, it's incredible. Yeah. Such a fast end here. Playing with pain really surprised uh, surprised mouse bots in this game. They went completely against the meta with the three assassins and mouse bots had no answer to it whatsoever. Definitely very, very strong combo. Um, I think Mossbot struggled a little bit by not playing with a uh, normal setup uh, of players because they had to uh, use their substitute early. But maybe they're gonna fix this problem in the next game and especially Karain won't disconnect again. They might have a serious chance here. Um, he's not back in the game yet. So, Oh yes he is, he is now, he is now. He just came back online. Um, I thought I saw Starzerk early on and he he's really crucial to these fights because uh, Starzerk is usually taking over the shot calling during the fights from our sports. So I think that's one of the big problems we've seen here and uh, we continue to see with mouse sports in, in every single match they play. Um, if they get ahead early on everything works out really well for them but if they if they do fall behind they they have massive troubles um, just giving some good shots um, f um, putting down the focus fire and that's really hurting him in all of these engagements nope not if it's working now draft is fixed thanks for that and thanks to Inklin for uh, doing everything as far as the administration is concerned for this tournament at least for now I think um, Pride, our main admin, is actually gone he, since he went to BlizzCon. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna be back soon. But we have the first ban by Mouse Sports, and it's Stitches, which was the first ban for uh, Plane uh, PvP last game. Yeah. Um, so it uh, seems like they don't want to go Zero Tool on their own, Mouse Sports, as you suggested them. But Well, they don't know if that's, uh, if that's gonna happen again, this little <laughs> triple assassin combo. Definitely possible, but I doubt it. But why not but just uh, go on what worked in the last game? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a solid composition. It's not a one-trick pony. It's just totally different to the way that we used to see it in, in the EU meta right now. Uh, everyone just goes for sustain. They went for that extreme DPS and um, burst damage one out in the end. Um, I just think that uh, mouse boards might not have... Um, have an idea on how to how to handle that. Yeah, the problem is, I think, with this uh, very with this hard focus on damage that you can get when you are behind, um, it gets really difficult to actually keep up and come back. But yeah, we have the first picks coming in, uh, and as well uh, the first ban, of course, by playing with pain's pain, uh, with tutorial, then followed up by. The Tigers against uh, Tassada Uther. So, yeah, very, very strong picks on both sides. We almost always see Tigers on first pick. It's incredible. Yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a, a team pick up Uther, Tassada, and Tigers. I don't think that's even possible because <laughs> you usually see those three guys as the first picks. Maybe Stitches in there as well. Stitches and Tyrael. I mean, all the heroes we see right now are, are candidates for being picked first. Yeah, definitely tier 1 heroes for all of the teams right now. And on the other hand, Mossbots is probably going to go for some kind of tank, yeah. Oh yeah, and oh, okay. Illidan. Arthas and Illidan. Or, or not, uh, but I think they're yeah, going to go yeah. for Illidan. No, um, no. Pretty interesting to be honest because uh, they don't have Tassadar or Uther, so they need some kind of healing. Maybe uh, uh, Rhaegar is gonna play in there because, yeah, he synergizes uh, very well, of course, with Tykes and Arthas. But let's see. PPP definitely is gonna pick some kind of assassin now. Um, 
I'm not really sure what they're going to go for. They've got a lot of choices, actually. Nova might be one. But it's since there are that many heroes out at the moment, uh, there are very many choices that they can choose off. Um... I mean, they um, they can save their assassins for later on. Or maybe if they're gonna go for two additional assassins, it might actually be a good choice to to go for that again. Yeah. Since uh, they have Tacita, which is is kind of um, the middle road between these uh, between these uh, assassin uh, support guys, so it would be totally possible for them to, to go for two assassins, two additional assassins. But Illidan is already taken, so uh, that's a strong counter pick from our sports. Yeah, are they going for Reino now? Yeah, quite solid, of course. I think uh, you see Reino more and more in, uh, the li in the last weeks or so. Um, he's getting kind of popular, actually, as far as I see. So... They might be going for, maybe, uh, I'm really not sure, Nova, Vala, these kinds of heroes. They might even go for a tank right now. Or a uh, false set, definitely, why not? Just go for false set. False set and then just save. Um, well, Arthas is gone. Maybe a noob or Chen yeah. or for last, last pick. They could maybe even go for both. But, no, but I yeah. think they should go for a warrior right now and uh, then just save the last assassin. Yeah, they could definitely do that. Because otherwise they might... Uh, uh, their favorite warrior might be picked. Yep, yeah. and they're going to take Chen. Okay. Uh, so solid choice here. So I think um, they won't go for Falstead because Falstead, in my opinion, works a little bit better with Anubarak because of, because of uh, the line stun. It's just stun in a line and then shock and awe in a line. And you do so much damage if it works. But let's see. On the other hand, uh, they really need some... Uh, Mossbots really need some kind of support. Hmm. As I said earlier, maybe Rega. I don't think Brightwing is that of a good choice. But they could still go for it. And I don't think they have a good uh, Brightwing player. I'm not too sure, but I don't think they have a good Brightwing player. They could even go for something like Malfurion Zigara. Out of the oh, ordinary, yeah. but okay. Okay. Yeah, more kind of a standard pickup. Yeah, standard. Definitely standard. And, um, well, I mean, Bloodlust is an option with uh, Tigers and Elden. But, yeah. uh,. With that last, with that last game, having having in <laughs> mind how that last game went, I think uh, uh, ancestral healing would still be the way to go. Yeah, and on the other hand, there is not that much very hard burst damage coming in from PPP, so ancestral healing most of the time should work out well, because if you have too much burst he uh, burst damage on the other side, ancestral healing might not be the right option because you just heal and before the healing works, yeah. your target dies. It, you do have that little bit delay. Yeah. So, Elset is the last pickup, just like you said. And with that, we have Tychus, Nilidan, and Feldstead. So, um, they're going for that three assassin combo now. Yeah. Rhaegar. And final pickup for playing. It might actually be Nova now, but ah, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Nova is a very good hero now uh, after the patch, um, but I uh, personally I don't like her mainly because maybe I don't play her that much. Okay. So. Ooh, Zero Tool, interesting. Yeah, uh, I think Zero Tool and Shen. Wow, that's that's pretty insane <laughs> zoning potential for them right there, and that that could be critical in on Black Hearts Bay. Uh, we've not seen these fights all too often, but they do happen uh, on the bridges towards the 
um, towards the turning in point, towards Blackbird. Um, you you can use that zoning potential to your advantage. Yeah, definitely. I think as well a little bit of the idea behind Zeratul is to catch uh, False Set in the Void Prism while he's casting his Shock and Awe. I, I saw some games of them where it worked very nicely. So yeah, Black Hat Space is going to be the map. And we might be seeing some kind of roaming going on from PPP with uh, Tassadar staying on the top lane and the other four is basically, basically roaming a lot. Maybe Reyna staying at the bottom lane. Okay. Well, I mean, with uh, with Rhaegar, you have lots of um, mobility, so you can go for for roaming early on if you want to. Um, but do you think they're well? Do you think they're gonna sacrifice um, some XP for that on Blackheart? Mm. I'm not too sure, but uh, it might be an option. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's get started with the game here. We have on the left side. As the blue team here on Blackheart's Bay play with Pain and they spot an Ufer, Chen, Tassada, Raynor, and Zeratul, and everyone's just lining up here at the gate. On the right side, in the red trunks, we have Mouse Boards with Karayan on the Rhaegar, Ali. Oh, wait, Ali is playing again. Um, Tychus, Kilikadash playing Feldstad, Starzerk playing uh, Zeratul, and. Uh, Illidan, and we have Fabio on Arthas. And early pickup here by Kidda, going straight for that watchtower. Yeah, that's uh, the big benefit you have uh, with False that you can just control the top tower in the early game. Yeah, and now they have complete control early on. Maybe even the possibility to gank. Nope. <laughs> there comes the Oracle out of Bakery. Yeah, that's kind of a counterplay against it, but still. Uh, the tower obviously is much better if you get him. Got some early aggression coming in here from Fabio. He's trying to creep the out very fast. On the other hand, Fibellino might jump in there. Ali have a little bit out of position, but okay. He quickly backs off. First treasure chest spawns and it looks like Mossbot's is going to be able to get all of his cards. Nope, a single kill out of Nubi. Oh, Fabio's caught out of position. But uh, Starzerg moves in there, blo body blocks a little bit, and might be able to save him. Chen jumps in there, and Fabio gets away. Yeah, on, on the bottom chest we had Cybox picking up all of the uh, coins. So Completely um, uncontested by Killer. Not yeah. sure uh, how that worked out. I mean, Killer should be able to at least keep him occupied and maybe grab a single or, or two coins here. Oh, he might be in trouble. Nope, Kane is there a little bit too late. And he got the first doubloon camp being picked up here by Fabio, getting two additional coins in here. By the way, uh, Mouseports is missing their team captain in this, in this fight, and he's usually their support player, so um, having... Uh, hey, wait, never mind. I'm kind of confused right now. Who's missing? Uh, Cookie. Oh, Cookie is missing. Okay. missing, yeah. Okay. I thought for some reason that Karine was missing there. Um, I've not seen Karine on Rhaegar. Oh, but um, yeah, so far it's okay, I think. <laughs> Didn't make too many mistakes. Let's see how it goes on in the game. Tesla is gonna grab the uh, the tower here in the middle. And I, I do like um, grabbing that tower every once in a while because it gives you so much potential uh, to see every everything that's going on uh, in the in the middle there on the map. If you see um, if you see they're going for the boss, um, always a big giveaway. And there's the grab on on the easy camp here by mouse boards. Yeah, and they got nine coins now to be painted. Oh, pain caught out of position. Starzak moves in there. Oh, nice, nice blink out of there. But can he get away? Kiddick is on the follow. He dashes behind him. Uh, just Maybe. one hit, and there comes the body block. Starzak moving in from the other oh. side. Oh, wow! What a clutch disengage. He's not out of the trouble yet, though. Now he should be fine. Yeah, he is Oh, fine, they really want that kill. Oh, the Bolino's being so low. Ah, oh, no, no shield coming in there. He's gonna die. And Bakery also being hunted down here by Starzerk. He's doing a good job so far. Might get the jump on him now. Yep, they will. 
Yeah, Solid even pickups out of mouse here. Even a little bit overkill here from Falster to fly in that direction. Maybe he should have just gone top uh, or in the middle lane to gather some more experience. But Yeah, I think they should have pr uh, probably just sent uh, two heroes for that gank. Because they lost out on a little bit of XP and this could have been a way better, um, way better experience boost for them. But still, uh, they are going to get the hard camp right now and two additional coins. And maybe even get some kills in here. Oh. Nope. Cassida and Shen moving away. Um, also some heroes that can have some nice disengages, so uh, they should be fine. Um, Karayan doing a good job pushing down this top lane <laughs> against Luby here. Next. And the next chest have spawned. It's Felsted against Tassada. Oh, pain being caught there. Ah, but no engages so far. Ten, oh, 12 coins now here on the heroes from um, Mouse. But oh, Kitakadash oh, being a really little good, stru really good stun out of Luffy here, uh, getting Kitakadash. But um, yeah, he didn't take too much damage, and with the dash was able to get away. But they did steal two coins, so um, it's a good way. We're gonna see the next fight here at the Black Heart. Yeah, very nice disengage here from Pain. Not getting caught by uh, Fabio, and the uh, eight coins gonna get paid in. First bombardment is gonna start now for Mouseborx, and they are yeah they will go for their hard cam for sure. Oh, but now as we see at the moment, they lost a little bit of experience. Uh, PPP was able to catch up a little bit, but with the bombardment, they're gonna get some more in. I'm sure. Yeah, they do have Karine and uh, Kid Kadesh here on top and middle lane. Uh, Ali is also back on the bottom lane, so not gonna miss out on too much experience from now on. And they do have the hard camp pushing pretty soon, but we had a bribe on the hard camp uh, by playing with Pain as well. So just counter pressure on both sides. Uh, it's so funny, everybody has uh, at least one coin uh, at the moment. Um, but maybe not the best, because they're gonna have uh, a lot oh, of time. Cyborg cutting out of position. And Arthas, can he get the final blowdown? Now some good healing coming in, but he's being taken out nevertheless. And Vipolino does get away there. Ooh, level 10 now, four mouse boards. They'll be able to pay there without any problems. They want that fight. Oh yeah, but... Uh, no engage coming off here from PvP. That probably yeah, they, they would have been suicide. Behind. They need yeah. that. They need that little bit of experience boost to get those level ten, get their level tens as well, and then they can take the fight. Now they're level ten, and we have the next bombardment. Nope, not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's down. already firing. Um, easy camps being picked up now for both teams, and we have um, clear clear points. Uh, Scouting the easy camp now from PvP and they are moving in. Starzerk in the front. Oh, Falstead might actually give it away. He's he's stuck there. Um, <laughs> but they did grab the easy camp beforehand. Oh, and maybe Bakery is out of position. No, he shouldn't really move that fast forward. Uh, he has to dodge the e W now of Arthas, and he does. But oh, still, good job, Ali. Maybe body blocking him there. No, he goes into the old uh, into the ultimate form. And nevertheless, not uh, not enough to save him here. A very nice game so far by Mouseboards. Uh, four kills to zero and one level ahead. And Luvi has to be careful now. Oh, and they're gonna engage now. 4v5. Okay. They're gonna stay back. They don't want to fight without the fort. Very nice yeah. decision here. And Tassada almost done with the cooldown, so he's gonna be back in the fight. They could have maybe gone for the boss, but that would have also been a very, very risky strategy. So instead, just opting to stop the easy easy mercs in the bottom bottom lane and go for some additional coins here uh, on these encampments. Oh, and I saw PPP just thought about going for the boss themselves for a split second. Oh, and Vipolino oh. is going to get caught out of guard. Oh, and a good jump here on Ali, he's popping his Oh, Ali's going out. into the auto form, but he's been taken out so quickly here. Oh, this might actually snowball Karayan. He needs to heal up Starzerk, and he does. Good job, but Starzerk did use his ultimate right there, so they need to play a little bit more defensive now. And this is actually a good a good time for playing with Pain to put on the pressure here in the middle. And there we go, they go in. Oh. Chen moves in, drinking a lot of his brew, but... 
can't quite move in to, uh, to take out the fort. They did take out one tower, the second one's almost gone. Yeah, the problem there for PPP was they only have the storm, earth and fire up and without any other heroic abilities they won't be able to fight. Especially since Shock and Awe, Metamorphosis and Army of the Dead are already here for mouse bots. They might just use it now. Oh, very nice stun here on Starzek, but he's gonna be able to move back very nice. Shock and Awe doing some decent damage here on Raynor. Can he get away though? Falzer is on the hunt and he might get the final blow. No, Raynor gets away so close there. Oof, it falls. And Vipolino might be the next one to fall. Good engagement so far out of mouse boards, but they need to get another kill in here. Tassada moving, moving in the well. And Cyborg. Finally being taken out, Raynor falls and a good engagement out of mouse boards. Now they can take the hard camp in the bot lane and really start putting on the pressure here. Yeah, it was very important that Shen didn't die there because he had 9 coins and <laughs> just giving 9 coins to the enemy team is pretty bad at the moment since they already have a lot of coins and can pay. Ooh. Yeah, just. I, I don't really... Yeah, okay, they just want to push with the hard camp, maybe pay afterwards. Oh, the team jumped in there for a sec. Um, that's actually pretty dangerous with the amount of burst damage they have. Uh, they could take him out um, um, in, a, in a jiffy. Yeah. Okay, so they don't pay right now. They know that they'll be contested at Blackheart. But maybe Fabio's gonna get ca caught out of the guard. Yeah, he's uh, taking a pretty dangerous route right here, and he has 10 coins. Yeah, um, so they, they should move as a team right now, otherwise uh, they might get, might get in a lot of trouble. Uh, PPP just turned in, so we're gonna have a little barrage incoming. Yeah, they're gonna get the middle fort right now. In the meanwhile, hard take being, campaign, being taken for both the ca uh, teams. When we got... oh... 25 coins, uh, nee, no, uh, 23 coins here for boss boards at the moment. That's a lot of coins, they really need to turn in, but instead they're opting to go for, for the easy camp for now. Being already down there uh, makes it a little bit easier to just go in and turn those coins in once they're done here with the, with the easy camp and those additional coins, but they're holding on to a lot of coins, so they need to play it safe in the next few minutes. Yeah, and PPP Fabio, is not fantastic. 14 coins. He, he can just turn in and stop the barrage <laughs> right there. Uh, that's how you want to be. Such a rich kid. <laughs> yeah, but it's the same like in StarCraft. You really don't want to have that bank. <laughs> yeah. And now with the clear wines, no point here to hide for PPP. They got spotted. No problem. And, and they're and waiting at the watchtower. They do have that vision. Yeah, but the problem is they're engaging now against a team with uh, which has level 16 talents. But maybe they get someone out of guard now. Maybe yeah, Killer Kadash. out of Rega, Stone Skin out of Arthas and Tychus. Blood for Blood on Illidan and Overdrive on Feldstead. And they're gonna turn, turn in uh, once the last bullets have been fired here. Oh, Feldstead and... Tassada trying to 1v1 here, but ah, that's so good now for um, for most bots. Even though they lack one coin now, they'll have no problem getting the next bombardment in very soon. Yeah, might get a pick up here on Tassada. No, nope, Bakery gets away. And they're so gonna move back for now, grab a, one more coin. They just need one more. 30 seconds on the respawn timer on these easy pirates. So I think they they just want to get that coin, maybe wait out a little bit, and then uh, start the next engagement. Get ahead in the levels again. Yeah, only one kill so far for PVP. They definitely have to step that one up. But I think they're gonna wait for the le level 16 to get up another engagement here. But maybe Mossbots is gonna be too fast. Maybe they will engage right here, but they're a little bit too far they're away. Waiting there. <laughs> oh, the Oracle has patiently been waiting. Uh, with the Oracle, they can, of course, just detect everything. And maybe they're gonna take the boss now. Might be a good time to just go for that, but uh, again, EVP, they're, they're just on the prowl. I think they, they have to know now. They really have to know, but the thing is, they don't want to face check into the... Okay, now they do. I thought they were scared to face check into the um, tower right there. 
Now the Oracle mm -hmm. Mousepots actually waited, they're gonna go down on pain, but nope, oh, he gets away for now. And a solid storm out of him. And there comes the ultimate out of Starzog, but he's taken out so quickly here. Some really good solid focus firing here. Ali goes down as well, but he can get away for now. Fabio taking a lot of damage. Doing, doing a good job stopping everyone else from falling, and they take out Luffy, and now they can turn it around. Shen is still up though, and he hasn't popped his ultimate yet, so... Oops. Yeah, Zero Tool died there against... Ah, oh, he died there against Fawcett, and it looks like the Blino has to run out of there very fast. Yeah, Yeah, he can just... It's, it's incredible how long he can stay alive. I did manage to uh, grab those coins again. At least didn't didn't lose those and can probably turn in for for the barrage here pretty soon. Illidan still down, but Tassadar uh, and Zeratul and uh, Ufa are still down for PvP as well. So they do have the time to take the boss right now. No way to go against that uh, four four v three fight. Yeah, the problem I think in this fight for PvP was that they switched focus um, to Arthur's when the others still were in Void Prism. They had to focus Tigers. Uh, if they would have done so, he might have just died instantly. I think they remembered last game where they did some really good solid focus firing on Arthas. Yeah. And um, they were, well, I mean, Mouse was down two levels in, in each of those engagements, so it's easy to take out the warrior then, but not, not now that there are two levels ahead. Yeah. Next bombardment coming in here. They'll be able to get, oh, uh, maybe? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're, they're gonna grab the top fort as well. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe even bottom for it. It's already down to half health, and still a lot of bullets left here um, on the bombardment. Yeah, but the the forts obviously are very, very beefy. Let's see. And so good pickups here uh, for mouse bots. They grab the hard camp. Gonna go for the hard camp in the bot lane as well. So to um, some solid split pushing coming in here pretty soon for both of these uh, for for mouse bots. Yeah, and the next clear points being used here, Karain definitely wants to pay here. But PPP is going to move in here. Since they saw that the hard cam has been taken, they thought uh, maybe Mouseballs is split up. And they have to defend bottom now with the Knights. Yeah, and and Knights and, and Easy Mercs. Really, really good pushing potential here out of Mouseballs. Uh, let's see if they're going to bolster that. Karain wants to pay up, but no, nope, it's Ali who's turning in. On bakery being out of position a little bit. Oh, but he uses his invulnerability. But the easy camp going to mouse boards here, very unfortunate for... Mm, this is PvP. such a strong push for mouse boards. Um, all heroics out for both of these teams. We're gonna see a fight here. Vipolino caught a little bit out of position there. But they have the mercs pushing in the back, so that's gonna just amplify their potential here. Uh, to take out these gates, take out the towers, and then just rush in. Arthur is rushing towards the front gates now. Oh, is Lazar being taken down almost, but he's gonna stay alive. And very good shock and awe there. Oh, amazing Void Prison getting all five of these players. That's incredible. And now, and very good Fabio. follow. Fabio's being bursted down. Starzuk might be the next one to fall. Oh, he might get away. No, the Billionaires is on hunt. He might get him. Karayan with some solid uh, body blocking there. Tychus will fall. And Starzark also trapped down there. He's gonna be taken out. But at least they did save Karayan Feltz that nice turnaround. Wow, just an amazing job by pa uh, by um, uh, by Vipolino? No, wait, never mind. Uh, where is our Zero Two player right uh, now? Pain. Uh, at Pain. the bottom he port. Okay, there he is. <laughs> he even takes the port. Yeah, he did an amazing job with that war prison. Yeah, normally you don't really want to get all of the five in the Void Prison, but in this case it was perfect. Yeah. Because they were they, able to follow up so good. And yeah, they got an amazing position afterwards. Wow. And this might actually be the turnaround here for PPP. They caught up in levels, and they can just put on the pressure now. Uh, three forts down for both of these teams, but... Oh, they are going on for Karain. Oh, but Falset is going to be able to move back. Karain being stunned here. Oh, oh wow, no. what an amazing stun. Fabio does pick up a couple of coins at least. But wow, what a pickup here. Karain again out of position. He always moves out of position with, with the team. Um, he really needs to stick together with, with the remainder of his team. The problem now for PPP is that they don't have uh, the Divine Storm up. 
Vipilin is moving in there. Ali is taking a lot of damage, but I don't think that they really should dive here. Oh, but he's diving on Starzerk, but he's gonna get away as well. Heroic now being popped by Fabio. Well, they really want to go for that keep, and it's already halfway down. I think they're gonna get it. Vipilino just drinking, drinking to his death there. Starzerk moves out, and the minions can do some solid work on Vipilino. Fabio tries to focus him down as well. There comes the shocker now, and Vipilino will. F oh no, he's get he gets away with his heroic. Good job, and even grabbing Uther. Wow. Yeah, if he gets yeah. away, it's gonna be another four coins for BPP, but he's gonna be in danger. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty close oh, he here. Can wow! Jump. Oh, he tried to jump over there. That didn't <laughs> work out. <laughs> good, a good pickup for uh, for Mousebots. They actually managed to turn it around. Uh, Vipolino just he wanted to grab Arthas, and um, that actually cost him his life there. Yeah. The problem is, I don't think that Mousebots can really capitalize on that fight right now. <laughs> All the camps are down. They might be able um, to go for the oh the boss. What an impeccable timing. Okay, never mind what I just said here. Uh, they can grab that boss, and with them, uh, probably push down the top lane pretty hard. Since the hard camp is also up, um, PPP they definitely have to grab their own hard camp. Otherwise, they might be in trouble. Yeah, but on the other hand, they were scared that uh, Mousebots just goes for their mid port and tries to push, tries to push that. But, yeah, they were way more defensive. Oh, and the chests are spawning. Very nice timing as well. What for a Mousebots. timing! What a timing! Uh, Felsa definitely needs to grab one of those chests. We have top chest being taken here by Ali, uh, Starzard and Karayan helping him out as well. Felsa wants to counter these minions in the bot lane though. Um, I don't know, they should go for the chest. Yeah. Since PvP is completely occupied with the boss. Really close game here between Mouseboards and PvP. Really solid game. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and almost all of the um, Merc camps spawned now. Oh, but PvP is moving in. They want to prevent the, f uh, the payment here. But maybe. Oh, they were able to pre prevent it. And now Fabius is being a little bit out of position. Oh, some good storms oh, going down so on Fabio. Promise. He's being focused out, and wow, Starzer and Karayan both caught in there. Divine Storm goes down, but uh, not quite getting it. Starzer, can he get away? Oh, no, he moves back. He wants to get uh, he wants to get some damage done on Luvi, but no, losing so many coins in the process. Really, really painful here for Mouseport. Now Fabio is being back by the resurgence, but uh, this time he won't die. PvP, I shouldn't really push on now because Viplino is very low and when he pops out of his heroic, yeah, you see, he's gonna die. But they but did grab a lot of coins. Um, might be, yep, yeah, it's enough. It's enough for the next barrage so they can put on some really good pressure. They will get at least one keep here. Yeah. Yep, yeah, this top one has taken a lot of damage already. Huh? And let's see which one it's gonna attack. Who cares? Let's yeah, the middle one fight. first. But it's so much back and forth uh, in this game, I really like it. Yeah, this is not over yet. Um, don't get me wrong, I mean, um, this was a solid fight for Mousebots. They did lose Arthas and Ilvin in that fight, but uh, at least managed to um, uh, to keep going against PvP there. Yeah, now they're gonna take the hard camp. Yeah, but PvP is moving there as well, so maybe they're gonna get a, a good engagement. Let's see. Fabio already showed himself. Oh, they're moving then. in. Fabio knows what's coming. He knows what's coming. He's seen pain. He's seen Vipolino. They're all moving in. And Mouseboards might get away here. They no! The, the hard camp wasn't done yet. Oh. And there comes the engage by Fabio. On another nice Void Prison. Getting Ali, Karayan, Starzerk. Everyone's down there. But Cyborg, he's taking a lot of damage. Um, with the shield here by Bakery, he might be able to stay alive. Nope, he's going down nevertheless. And Fabio, he's in big trouble now, completely out of position. Stars are currently shrunk down. Luvi falls. A good fight here, right there for Mouse Sports. Can they get Vipolino as well? No, he pops his ultimate, gets away. Fabio's in trouble. A little bit more healing out of Karayan, and he could stay alive. No, he falls nevertheless. But Vipolino also taken out. Wow, what a fight. Can they get Tassada as well? Yes, they can. And pay 4 for 5, I think, right? Uh, yeah. I uh, know. Oh uh, wait! No, no. What's um, with pain? Did pain, pain get away? Pain survive, and he killed um, Falset on his own in the end. 
that was a very nice action. So we have 40 second cooldown on Tassadar, 20 seconds on Rainer, uh, 30 seconds on Ufer. But whoa, wait! Mousebot's not going for that keep yet. Yeah, they are playing it defensive. They know that then they can pay in once more and just win through the payments. But I think they could have just gone for one keep without any problems. Yeah, they want those. Um, they want those artillery um, ballistas as well. Oh, Karain is being out of position right there. Again! He just so doesn't learn. Uh, but he has Ancestral healing up. Oh, he pops it too late and he dies! The pain uses his blink right there. Uh, they might get Starzog oh as well. Oh my gosh! So much burst damage right there. And so many coins. Ali might actually go down here as well. I don't think he can get away. There's no fort remaining. Vipolino with some nice body blocking. Pain comes in. And wow, what a turnaround here for playing with pain. This might actually be game right there. 60 second cooldown on Tychus. 45 seconds on uh, on Zeratul. Uh, on Illidan. And 35 seconds on Rhaegar. I cannot oh. believe this. And now they're going in on Fabio. He's being slowed. A more slow coming in. Pops is heroic, but he still will die. Oh my uh, goodness. Really sloppy play out of mouse sports. And I think it's gonna be PPP that's gonna take game right here. Yeah, actually. Oh, and they even gonna kill Kitagadash right there with the heroic, with the Divine Storm from Luby. What a game! So much back and forth. And incredible, yeah. incredible game. Uh, mouse sports really, really had some amazing team fights in there and some nice decision making, but. Wow, that sloppy play there at the end, really unnecessary. Wow. PPP takes it, and with that, they solidify their uh, third rank here in the HPL uh, Europe League. Uh, so